Welcome back to Jen's Hangout. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you're returning, ha uh -huh, thank you guys. I love you so, so much. You know that. What do we got going on today? Today is just purely let's play around in some freaking makeup. I'm going to finally try the Fatally Yours palette by Amelt and Bailey Sarian. Um, so we'll do that as my thumbnail. But I just wanted to play around in some makeup and say hi. Oh, yeah. So I have my eye primer, which is the P. Louise. We're going to be using my Project Pan stuff, too. So this is the P. Louise base in Rumor 01. This is the Pearlies Youth Glow in Medium. It's their CC Cream. I need a brush. I need a brush. Um. I, uh. I need a better mirror is what I need. I need to clean that mirror. Really bad. Like, actually clean, clean it. <laughs> Not just wipe it up. Um. No, I've just been thinking I wanted to play with some makeup and... Usually when that happens, Joe and I will go live, but we've been, we've both not been feeling the greatest, so I thought I feel okay right now and I want to play in makeup, so let's do it. And I figured I would just do it for like a whatever Wednesday or who knows, maybe like a Tuesday or Thursday video throw in something extra you know um, so I I don't know if you guys know this but I put it on with a brush because I like to make sure I get a really thin layer because I don't want it to be cakey and creasy and gunky and I put my primer my face primer on my eyes too and I always let my primer dry for at least five minutes um, my regular primer my face primer and then I tap it out with um, a damp sponge a damp sponge because I like what it does with the sponge okay so I'm gonna go in with this these are what are these called forever flawless I think no that's makeup revolutions eyeshadow palettes I don't remember what these are called you can get some of them from Sheen and some of them I got one from I don't remember what kind of website but I need to put my concealer on first this is the beauty creations uh, flawless stay concealer full coverage in C10 so it's not I didn't get a shade that's very brightening because I wanted it to conceal because like I have spots right now which I'm going to use this brush so I'll take some product off of the wand and conceal those spots because I they're colder so I don't want to um, reuse the use the wand and then have it dip back into the product if that makes sense because this is the last thing you want to do when it comes to um, cold sores. So usually I have gotten cold sores. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I have gotten cold sores, been plagued with them my whole life, literally since birth. Um, now I'm just going to take a sponge and spread it, um, and blend it out. My my mom now, but my grandmother had it for, well, she was alive, well, she was alive, 
um, I had a picture of me when I was 18 months old, right? And the entire bottom of my face is just covered in cold sores. And I don't know if you know this, fun little fact about cold sores. It is actually the herpes virus that causes it. Um, it's called herpes simplex B. And it is not the same as genital herpes. However, it can cause genital herpes. And you can use your imagination on that one. I will not elaborate on that. Um, so, um, be careful. <laughs> Pay attention where you put your mouth. But anyway, I am of the teachings that, wow, even that looks light today. I wonder if my blood is too rich. I don't know. Probably not. It's probably the opposite. Um, but, anywho. <laughs> I love this brush because it doesn't, it's not like a sponge or other brushes where it just sucks up the product and doesn't actually distribute it because it like really distributes the product very, very well. And it really gives you a nice finish, even for a light little CC cream or BB cream or, um, uh, a uh, tinted moisturizer, all that jazzy stuff. But it makes it nice and it doesn't, to me at least, it doesn't make it look kicky. But here's the crazy thing, right? I was talking to my husband about this yesterday about how crazy it looks in the monitor, in the camera, my face and let me know if it looks this pale to you guys. To me, it looks like I put white paint or white foundation, like super fair foundation on. And that my face is super duper duper fair. But in the monitor, not the monitor, in the mirror, it doesn't look that way. It looks normal. It looks like it blends well, it looks like it matches all of the things. So I don't get it. I don't get it. Um, now I know you're probably thinking, you always do makeup on your channel or Mass Mondays. And I do, but I wanted to just kind of play. And while we will be using the Bailey Sarian palette, I still wanted to be able to have some freedom. Because this is an all matte palette. I don't know. I'm sure you guys have seen it. I am sure you have. This is what she looks like. This is what she looks like. She's kind of dark and grungy, very my vibe. But, you know, I have tons of different shimmers. I have liquid shimmers. I have super shocks. You name it, I've pretty much got it. And so... I was like, I don't, I, I just want to play, you know? I don't want to be stuck to just being you, just using one palette, which is 
what palette roulette does. Don't get me wrong, I love palette roulette. Love it. But you can get stuck using, you know, sometimes you want to amp up your look a little bit and you're kind of not necessarily, well, I don't think stuck is the right word, but you're committed. That's a better word. You're committed to using just that palette. That makes sense. So this I can put whatever I want on my face, really. Um, and I want a different brush. Ah, uh, what a brush! I guess we'll use this one. What is this brush? I think it's a lavish brush. It's a one hundred and sixty F face brush. Oh, it's a Farah. Oh, that is what it is. But it's a little bit stiffer so it'll work better for this application i did my makeup yesterday and oh, holy moly it took me the longest time to blend for some reason i think i just like went ham with the bronzer <laughs> i didn't mean to but it was like it was going strong. I was like, my face is so dark. But then again, I looked in the camera and I was like, can't even tell I have stuff on my face. So that's where I'm like, can you guys see what I'm talking about? Or does it look normal to you guys? Ah, inquiring minds need to know. Okay, I'm not going to use my cream blush out of there today. I want to use something a little bit more muted and that is not more muted oh that's a little warmer this is the lys blush in higher st no confident um This is Lynx, and this is a really pretty blush, cream blush light. Um, maybe, baby. This is one of my new ones. Maybe we'll go with this. This is um, Golden Hour. I think we'll go with this. It's not necessarily more muted, but it's not. She's a super pink. <laughs> You know what I mean? I love these ones too. Oh, that one's really pretty. I need to use that one more. That one's a shop and one, I think. And this one's from Sheen. Sheen, however you, whatever you call it. This one is from Timu. That one's not bad either. Hmm. What does it cut do? We'll see how this one comes out and then we'll go from there. How about that? How's about that? Right yo. And we'll use this little pure brush. At least I think it's a pure brush. It might be, yeah. It's just a little pure brush. Yeah, just a little flush. Maybe. Well, that's down as far as it'll go. I know sometimes we turn our light on too much and then it just washes everything out. That's why I have a yellow light that kind of warms everything back up. I need to get some soft boxes. See here, looking here, I don't look near as um, pale. Like I, I, to me, I look normal. Um, I'll go with this one. 
to spread it out and blend. And then I'm going to put the ColourPop Pleach. Pleach! Pleach! That's a word, right? Pleach is a word? I swear. Peach. Blush on my face. This one. It's a really pretty subtle blush. Yeah, I like that. Okay, we'll do just a little bit of contouring. I'm going to use the same brush that I used. This is a dupe for the Shade and Light by KVD. So this company is out of business, but you could get the KVD one. I love it because it has a much cooler toned contour in it that works very 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 well with my skin tone and that's this one right here it works really really well so now we're gonna powder the past this is my mix powder we're getting there like she's almost dusted Oof. I love cream products because they're so most of the time pigmented and they're like okay here we go we're gonna make your face pop right but then you set it down with some powder and it doesn't even have to be very much when you guys saw one dip on my powder brush and this is the Laura Lee powder brush I adore this powder brush because it's so big it's so fluffy I have another one this is an eco tools and it is just it's their bronzer brush but I use it for powder just because a brush says that this is what you need to use it for doesn't mean you have to use it for that but I only go in with one dip of powder basically just to kind of tone everything down and meld it all together and then i'll go in with my setting spray i noticed this has a very light peach a very fresh peach fragrance to it but i pat it with a damp sponge to kind of really set that look you know and now i'll put my highlighter on and my blush because i forgot to put my blush on but you know you guys can kind of get an idea of what i'm talking about so just gonna go in with a a blend brush and blend See, looking in the camera, I put way too much blush on. There you can see it. I know you can see it. So, because I went way ham with the blush, I'll just tone it down with this big fluffy one. See how much that toned that down. It works. And if I need to, I can tone it down a little bit more with moss sponge. Okay. And I am going to spray my face one more time. Not going to let it dry. Go in with my highlighter palette, which is the Platinum Ice by... Um, him. Jeffree Star. <laughs> and I'm going to go in with Ice Cold, which is this upper one up here. I like this palette because it has a lot of different um, highlighters in it. 